okay, good question. I do a lot of things. Uh, Olav is a non-binary trans femme in the Netherlands. Well, I'm in the Netherlands. That's how I identify as a non-binary trans femme. My pronouns are she, her. And in terms of sexual preferences, I, I identify as queer because I just like bodies and like people and fun stuff doing yeah delicious stuff anyway so <laughs> let's focus uh, I'm originally from Burundi I was uh, I was nine when we came to the Netherlands and oh I'm supposed to okay so I was <laughs> I was nine when we came to the Netherlands as refugees I have lived in about five or six countries and I think I've lived on four of the of the continents I think yes um, I have studied law, I have a master in corporate law, a bachelor in European law and at the moment I work in The Hague as a kind of like a community organizer, community builder, as a writer, as an activist and I do a little bit of politics and um, I guess I think one of my most, <laughs> thank you for the coffee, <laughs> one of my most uh, uh, sort of like trademarks I think as a person, if you want to summarize what Olav is or does, whatever, I think basically I'm just a basic ratchet mess. Okay, so let me explain why I call myself a non-binary trans femme. I want to first start off by saying, like, this label, this identification, I'm not very, I'm not married to it, okay? It, I mean, I use it, but it is not the world to me. I can, I move away with it whenever I want to. Okay? But anyways, non-binary for me specifically means that this idea of man and woman, this binary, these two things, for me, don't really make a lot of sense. And I've tried to integrate that into who I am, but I have not managed to. So, by saying I'm non-binary, I'm saying I give up on this project or this idea, this requirement to either be a man or a woman, right? I say trans because that means to me that the gender that I was assigned to, a man, that that one doesn't work for me. I'm non-binary because I'm not a man, right? So I'm transgendered, meaning this, the gender I was assigned as a child doesn't work with the gender that I know I have, right? So non-binary, man, woman means nothing to me. Trans, because I'm not a man, because that's what I was told as a kid, I'm not a boy. And femme, because I'm very proud of the fact that in my expression, in my behavior, a lot of what I do and the way I am, people think it's feminine. It's like a woman. And I'm very proud of that. I think femininity is something that is strong, that is fun, that is deep, that is wide, that is like, you know, just it inspires me. So when I add femme into my label, it's so I can tell people who think that femininity is bad, I'm gonna give them a big fuck you and tell them it is beautiful and fun and I'm proud of it. So that's why I call myself non-binary trans femme. So I've loved Olave Explains, I had a lot of fun. We've been at it uh, for <laughs> quite a long time and I want to do more Olave Explains uh, episodes but then I need questions I need to know what it is that you want me to explain to you to the best of my abilities and uh, you can do so by sending us an email at olavetalks at gmail.com and I will try to explain it to you the best I can thank you Maar het ding is met al die filmpjes moet echt max 2 minuten. Ja, maar dan moet jullie gaan, jullie moeten clipwerk gaan dan. Okay, maar ja, moeten we is... geen oh ja, microfoon zetten al op. Heb je me überhaupt gefeliciteerd? Nee. Ja. Gefeliciteerd? <laughs> I'm very I am very happy you're alive though. <laughs> and I really want you to keep on doing that for a very long time. Why are you trying to upset your mother? <laughs> Why? In front of company, okay? <laughs> yes, I know she's pretty light skinned, but that happens. I do the camera for my head, and you look still at me. Yeah, I I'm a person. I'm a person. Oh, wait, before you begin, then. Um, your hair is out of frame again, so either you sit down. 
Sadamish. Be humble. Sadam. Be humble.